You might have the impression that universities in China do not enjoy autonomy since they are politically controlled by the party state. Yes, there is control. The control is implemented in these ways. 10% credits on political education courses, counselors supervising students' ideology, and patriotic singing contests held on campus every year. These mechanisms are called political socialization. But do these mechanisms of political control totally destroy university autonomy, academic freedom, and critical thinking? I reviewed documents, conducted survey, observation, and interview in a university as case study to find the answer. I found that there's a tension between the state's demand on political socialization and the university's pursuit on fostering of critical thinkers. My research revealed that to manage this tension, university, staff, and students, they interacted with each other and formed a strategy of role split. Let me explain more on the roles they play. They all have two different types of roles. The university is implementing control, developing multiple ways of political education. But it is also autonomy promoter, giving freedoms to teachers in classes. Teachers, they are aware of what contents are politically sensitive, practicing self-censorship in classes. But they are also academic freedom fighters, providing students with balanced views and allow students to contribute divergent ideas. Students, they are um, used to the uniform political ideology and they know what to write on their political examination paper, but they are also autonomous learners participating in international exchanges to broaden their own horizon with diversified information. Role split is a game they play. So the scenario is like this. Contrasting performances coexist in Chinese higher education. The university sets up College of Marxism and Center for Innovation at the same time. Teachers cover their severe criticisms towards Chinese government with ironic metaphors. Students, they apply to join the Communist Party, but they might also read officially banned academic books. They are torn apart inside to fight for university autonomy, academic freedom, and critical thinking. You might not see violence, but people are wrestling, and it is a real fight. Thank you.